Thank Hello, you. welcome to Farrier's Crest. My name's James Crane, and uh, my son Forrest. Come on over here, Forrest. Take a little look at you. Our dog Hans was going to try to get it on the video, but I guess he decided he doesn't <laughs> want to be a movie star. Anyway, we're going to do a short clip for you on this horse. This horse has got all kinds of problems. We may have to cast his feet. We're not sure yet. His hoof capsule is in bad, bad shape. We're not sure if it's from neglect, poor shoeing. We don't know. Whatever it is, we're going to see if we can get it corrected today. So, we've been working on old Palomino horse here, and uh, we knew that we had an issue with the front feet with not enough wall to nail a shoe on. This horse desperately needs a shoe put on because he doesn't have enough wall or hoof capsule to support his own weight, so he's sore. Well, so we're gonna cast the front feet, we're gonna show you how we're gonna do that, and then when we do that, we can shape the shoe to fit the cast and not actually drive the nails into his hoof but yet get the same protections. We're probably also gonna do some tricky breakover work on the front feet because he has kind of an elongated foot and we've addressed, we're addressing that too. Now on the back feet, as we go here, the can of worms just gets bigger. On the back feet, we've got a similar situation, but it's due to white line disease. And let me show you what we have. I've already prepared the other foot and I've started to prepare this, and I should have waited a, a few minutes longer so you'd have a better view of it. But all this is bacteria that has grown up between the white line and the wall, and we're gonna need to get rid of all this because it's moving right up the horse's foot. And most of you watching have heard of white line. You probably don't know much about it, but it works between the white line and the wall, and it'll work all the way up. Eventually, it'll make the horse sore. Now, this horse is not sore from it, but we wanna stop it. We're gonna rebuild this foot with not casting tape. We're gonna use an alternative, and we're gonna use a product called Superfast. Same problem we have back here, too. We, there's nothing to nail to, and the horse desperately needs a platform to stand on. So we're gonna build this foot up with Superfast, uh, and it's a remarkable product. And on the fronts, we're gonna do a cast tape. And why, why the two different? Just to show you the difference. Casting tape's a little bit cheaper probably, and both of them are gonna work wonderfully. So what we've done here, you saw the last shot. All this was full of white line. I've carved all that out. I've got all the white line out of there. I've roughed up this foot. It's gonna stay roughed up until we're finished. We'll polish it up at the end. And it's roughed up because we need the super fast to stick to it. The same thing on the front feet. We're gonna rough those up even more for the casting tape to stick to them. But that's what we had to do. We had to do the same thing on the other side. We're not gonna bore you with that. But anyway, we're gonna get back to what we're gonna do and we're gonna turn it back on so you guys can see it. This horse now, we're, we've explained our situation. We're gonna go right to the back feet. This is the product we're gonna use on the back, super fast. We have this heat gun because we need to dry these feet out a little, while, a little bit. The, the whole trick to getting this to bond is having good dry feet. The same thing with the casting tape on the front. The, the foot needs to be prepared, roughed out uh, on the outside so it can stick to it good. And then we need to get uh, the uh, moisture out of the feet and then we can go ahead and add both these products. I go ahead and put it on high, and it will warm this foot up a little bit, but luckily for us, a horse doesn't really seem to care too much about his foot getting warm, and uh, we'll get this. And how do we know? Well, we just kind of guess. We're gonna do here for a, a little bit, and uh, I do have a tester that can tell me what the moisture level is, but we have found that it's most of the time not really worth it and the only thing that he gets irritated about is he might notice it on his skin the warmth and might want to move around a little bit but that's generally about all you need and then i'll pick the foot up and um because we're going to probably go under this foot a little bit he also walked in his own urine and so we want to get that straightened out you know how they are Let me show you the where where our situation is with these uh, this white line and uh, and uh, nail and a shoe on. Our white line is right here, and uh, that's not enough room to get a uh, a shoe on. And you can see in the past from these black marks that these nails have been too close to the sensitive tissue. In fact, this one over here was probably a quick or a hot nail, and we need to add some foot to this. This is the front foot. Add to this with that cast so we don't have to bother nailing. You see, there's just nothing here to nail to. 
We're gonna put this super fast on this horse. We need to create some kind of a barrier from the ground. We're gonna use this little piece of cardboard. Here's a little trick. Farriers, if you're watching, you might try. Uh, this is kind of what I do because sometimes the horse doesn't cooperate. He won't really put his foot down. And sometimes you put a little stick on there. It doesn't seem to work, of course. And he just went and did that. But anyway, so I put that tape right there like that and kind of hold it so he can get his foot down. All right, hey, cut two. Here we go. We <laughs> stick that on there like that. Hey, guess what? This tape's not very good tape. Usually I have better tape. And uh, it's just kind of what I had left over and it kind of sucks. But anyway, we're gonna see if we can get him to step down on that now. And come on, horsey. We love you. Come on. He doesn't know what to do with it. Anyway, there, there we, we go. go. We got him to step down on it. And now we're ready to start putting a little bit of stuff on here. And let's start building it up. We're gonna let a little run out. And there we go. And no, this is our super fast. This is our super fast. And we're gonna add to this horse's foot here. We don't need to go back to the heel much. We come up on the side of the horse's foot and start adding. And boy, this is super fast too. Depends on how hot the day is, but this stuff does get, it'll get, it gets hard so fast sometimes we, it won't even come out of the tube anymore. Okay, here we are. We got the, uh, the um, super fast on there. We built up, you see we come up, come up high. They got thicker as we went down here. And I did the same to the inside. Okay. Just adding a little more on yeah, to the I hoof. Need to, I need to come all the way up to the foot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And as you can see now, it seems like there's more of a wall forming for us to be able to nail to you once we put the shoe on. And of course, that will all have to be shaped and formed properly once it dries. And that's what we don't want. Yeah, that's exactly what we don't want to happen when we're we're doing this. Okay, now here we are. We have the uh, super fast applied and shaped. And as you can see, the horse's feet aren't so darn pointy anymore and elongated. We have more of a natural looking foot. Uh, we also have now enough wall to uh, apply a shoe with nails. And uh, it's in time this horse's foot probably take a couple applications the horses is, he isn't going to grow a foot that's going to look like that but what he's going to do is he's going to grow a foot that has really good solid wall on it and that's what we're after um, we have uh, evened up the load or spread out the load on his feet by adding this and that will help him also uh, uh, grow a better foot uh, because what he tends to do by his own weight and the way he travels he tends to kind of mash his feet up and he does not have enough square inches to protect himself. And so hopefully we can get all that back for him and this horse can go on his way. Apparently this horse is extremely broke and so he's really, really worth getting fixed up. So here we are. We have two inch Equicast casting tape. We're gonna apply this. Again, everybody knows, watch the video, knows, understands the problem. We don't have enough wall to nail a foot on. We have a really poor hoof capsule. We're gonna soak this in a little bit of water here. Kind of squeeze it. It activates it. And then we're gonna start to apply it. Oops. For now, we're not gonna worry about getting it on the heel. And the reason is, is because we're gonna cut it out later. And, but we do want to create a little bit of heel here. And so we're gonna do a little bit of back and forth here on this heel. Thicken that up a tad. This is some sticky stuff, as you can see. It's getting stickier and stickier as we go. We want to keep it off the coronet band. 
And if we get it on the coronet band, we'll just get and we'll cut it off there and relieve it. Get a little bit of water on here. Got my tape going on the wrong way. It'll be okay. And that should do it. And I'm gonna set his foot down there like that. And in just a few minutes, that'll be hard. And good, I did miss the coronet band in all the spots. The plastic doesn't always really matter. But I'd like to put the plastic on if I can. And here he's nailing on the shoe to the foot we've just formed. Which we would have never been able to do before this process. We haven't even driven a nail in his foot. This is all in the super fast material, acrylic material that we put on this foot. And these shoes, we haven't really ever had any problem with the shoes coming off either. All right, so on these front feet, we have a cast on there. As you can see, the cast is Covering that foot, we've extended the foot out. That way when we nail this on, we will not be nailing into his foot, we'll be nailing into the cast. This horse also has too much, he's, uh, his foot is not in the center of rotation. Uh, he's got a pointed foot, an elongated, distorted foot, and we're gonna move that, uh, that breaking point instead of on his toe, we're gonna, we're gonna break it back. We, we put these in the forge and we smash down the toe a little bit, and then we put it in the grinder. Instead of the horse breaking off here, he's actually gonna be breaking over off his foot here. That will move the center of rotation back a little bit and make the horse feel better overall. Anyway, let's go ahead and throw these shoes on. And uh, we'll get this horse finished up and on his way. Here we are. This has been a rough job. We're at the end of Farrier's Quest little shoeing job here. And uh, this is a good one. It's a good one to show people. Again, I'll run by it real quick. We had uh, some raunchy feet here. We didn't have enough uh, hoof wall, enough capsule to even nail a shoe on. So we've, uh, fronts and backs. We also had white light disease in the back. We cut all that out. We added uh, super fast on the back, built up the feet. Those nails aren't even in the horse's feet, they're in the super fast acrylic. On the front feet, we used Equicast casting tape. It's virtually the same thing they'd put on you if you broke a bow. As you can see, we kept it below the coronet band and we cut it out of the heel so the horse can have natural expansion in the back. And these shoes were nailed on and there's not a nail that actually went into his foot. It all went into the cast. We're going to give this horse about six weeks. We're going to do it again. Hopefully in three to four months, we'll have enough hoof wall and enough good capsule for this horse to be shod normally and come sound. He's a little bit lame right now. Thank you very much. And here's the beautiful Palomino, all finished up.